Hi everyone, Blessy Bear. I wanted to show you today how to make a Yule pentagram. So, and you could use this to put on your Yule tree or just hang around the house and make it as big or as small as you like. So, first of all, I'm taking some sticks. Now, these ones are from the craft store, so they're nice and clean and dry and all a pretty standard size. You can gather some sticks from your garden if you like. Just make sure you've dried them out. There's no little beasties. Um, I find it's just better to use ones from the craft store. Um, if you've got nothing around they're fairly cheap as well so first of all I'm going to make the pentagram shape which of course is a five pointed star just with a little hot glue and the sticks and then once you've made sure that everything's stuck together firmly and it's not going to break apart easy or anything like that then it's time to decide how you're going to decorate it for me, I stuck with the theme of like winter and Yule and colours associated with winter and snow and ice because um, winter's my favourite season. So I've got this snowflake decoration that was a bit broken, so I'm just fixing it up. And I'm using that as the centrepiece for my pentagram. So I'm going to stick that so it's right in the middle. Um, you could of course cover the sticks in glitter if you wanted it to be glittery and sparkly as well. Um, or keep it as natural as you like and only use natural objects, it's up to you. I'm using stuff that I've got in my craft supplies because I want to make a bit of room and use up some stuff. And I'm going to put a bit of ribbon in the top. Um, I'm using white again to represent the snow and the ice that um, that comes with this time of, time of year. And that makes it easier to hang up wherever I'm going to hang it to. I've also got this little mini refillable bauble. Um, it had some stars in it when I bought it from the supermarket. Um, but the top came off so I was able to empty the little gold stars out of it. Um, but they were nice for like my little Yule tree last year because they're very small, so it suits a small tree. But I filled this with some glitter that's white with little iridescent specks in it because to me it represents the snow. So almost like as if it's like a little snow globe at the bottom sort of thing. And I'm just making sure that it's going to stick in place. If your ribbon that you've got at the top is getting annoying, um, just glue it into position so it doesn't keep coming off. Like so. And then I wanted to include some bells because I like to use bells in items I've got hanging around the house. Bells are used a lot in paganism and just sound nice. So I like it when you sort of open a door or something and there's bells on it and you can hear the bells jingling um, I just like that sound and I think it adds it's just, I don't know, it's just really nice I just enjoy that so I'm adding some little bells hanging down at the bottom and then I've just stuck some directly to the pentagram at the top and then I've got these little teeny weeny uh, whitewashed pine cones from the craft store that I bought last year and I wanted to put those on as well just to add some natural elements to the um, to the piece and it's just a little blob of glue here and there to add those on I try to put one in each of the points of the pentagram just to make it nice and even and balanced and I use slightly smaller ones to fit at the sides and then the top one had to go behind the snowflake because of the position that I put the snowflake in. So I just glued that on at the back. Here I was trying a little bit of one just to see if that would work. And in the end, I just stuck a full size one on the back so you can see it through the snowflake and that worked perfectly fine. And once it was done, it looked like this. 
So that's it, how to make a simple Yule themed pentagram. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.